In the beginning of October we traveled to Slovakia to attend the wedding of Peter's good friend. The ceremony was happening in the area of Liptovsky Mikulash, a town in northern Slovakia, situated between Lower and Western Tatras. It's known for its ski slopes and a big fishing lake, Liptovska Mara. It was my first time in Slovakia and I knew nothing about the country. A part of it was a part of Czechoslovakia some time ago. I was looking forward to going there because traveling for me is like fresh air and inspiration. I love to explore new places. I keep on repeating this, I guess, in every second video. But it's not so much about touristic attractions, but about seeing how other people live, about visual parts as well, about architecture and design, about nature, about food, all this in general about life. Be careful, butterflies! The wedding took place in a mountain hotel, but I didn't film it because I was a guest in an evening dress. <laughs> Not usual case for me, but it is how it is. After the wedding, we spent a couple of days at our friend's place in Litovsky Mikulash and explored surroundings. When traveling with a toddler, you can't see as much as if you travel by yourself, of course. Everything slows down, but still it's possible to go and see things. Our daughter kids carry a frame broke down when we were in England, so we got a lightweight push chair, which I find very useful. I do believe that traveling with kids is very good for them, and even though they won't remember this later and probably will only be reminded of this by watching videos or photos from their childhood, I know that it is very good for their development, for their world perception, for expansion of their horizons. Are you eating apples? Mm -hmm. no. Liptovsky Mikulash is a small old town that it's been here in Liptov area since the 10th century. Funny coincidence, the legendary Slovak Robin Hood Juraj Janosik, I hope I pronounce his name correctly, was sentenced and executed here. If you watched my videos about Robin Hood's Bay, you know what I mean, and my story about Robin Hood. <laughs> Liptovsky Mikulaj played an important role for Slovaks in the 19th century during the period of so-called Magyarization. It was one of the centers of Slovak national movement. I probably wouldn't pay attention to this fact before, but regarding current situation, uh, what's going on in Ukraine now, and the more I read about historical events, the more I understand that history repeats itself you know what Magyarization was? It was sort of assimilation or acculturation process by which non-Hungarian nationals living in Austro-Hungarian Transleithania adopted the Hungarian national identity and language in that period. 
It reminds me of something. A bigger fish always wants to swallow a smaller fish. Why is it of human nature? We're at Liptovsky Mare now. It's a or Liptov Mare. We're at the lake in Liptovsky Mikulash anyway. And there were just a couple of fishermen here and now it's completely empty. It's Monday today, so nobody's here. The weather is beautiful, very warm. And we're just enjoying our time here because the road here took a bit more than expected we thought it's gonna take like 40 minutes and, and most of the way was uh, along the road so it wasn't super pleasant and we missed the path to turn and walked a bit further and then came back Slovakia in this area reminds me of Austria a lot the south of Austria where I lived as an opera girl many years ago. The days when I travel, whether it's walking, hiking or riding, are filled with presence here and now. It doesn't mean I don't think about anything or don't get obsessed by any ideas, but it means that I pay a lot of attention to the surroundings and also the constant lullaby of the world going around me brings me peace inside. <laughs> Mommy. I was trying out my new gimbal uh, stabilization system for my camera. Sorry, I'm still not very good at, in it, <laughs> but uh, I'm doing my best to. There, there is a turned upside down house, a uh, heli land or something like this. It's like a illusion museum sort of thing. Today it's closed. Next to it, or there, there is a labyrinth. But the reviews on Google say it's not worth it. Every time we walk somewhere in nature, my husband tells me something interesting about trees insects or animals we see. This time we found a wasp nest. Basically a wasp lays its egg there and it produces hormones and it makes it grow like that and that protects the eggs and the larvae. So there are larvae in this? There are larvae in there? All different 
I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next vlog, I will take you to Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia. If you like my videos, please uh, press like and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the little bell, don't, not to miss other videos.